Okay. Yeah. My name is Fungala Mpo. I'm the National Vice Chairman of the Southern Cameroon National Council and the Chairman of the Foreign Affairs Commission of the organization. So what is the situation of your people? Exactly where is the, your, your homeland and what is the situation? Yeah. My homeland, Southern Cameroon, a former UN Trust territory under British administration, is found in West Africa, uh, east of Nigeria and west of La Republic du Cameroon. Uh, presently, my country, my homeland, uh, Southern Cameroon, is under occupation uh, of La Republic du Cameroon, a former uh, UN Trust territory under French administration. So, uh, short, brief story about this French administration, which is the main problem now? The main problem that we are facing, we are fighting for our right to self-determination, to restore the identity of the Southern Cameroonian people, to restore our right to freedom and enjoy justice and a sovereign independence like any other free people in order to have a new beginning. Presently, we are under occupation and we have no right to freedom of assembly, freedom of opinion, freedom of thought, and freedom of speech. We are uh, under occupation as I have stated. So, exactly which kind of occupation belongs to uh, made? I mean, you are ruled from uh, French? Yes, under occupation in the sense that the, uh, by 1954, Southern Cameroon has a parliament and an elected government, but today we are ruled by foreign uh, uh, rulers who are appointed by President Bia, who are francophones. This is why I said we are under occupation. Secondly, we have an army of occupation that is, is established as a crackdown force to make sure that no resistance, no dissent is tolerated. Anytime we have even peaceful uh, uh, protests, our people are arrested, tortured, and killed, as it happened even in the secondary school in Pumba, uh, most recently. This is the problem that we are facing, and that's why we are appealing to the international community to come to our assistance. We are a non-violent uh, movement, but they are pushing us to the wall so that they can use their military might to uh, uh, kill our people and occupy our land in perpetuity. You were also in, in jail. Yes. What about your story about jail and uh, the, the movement to keep you out from jail? Good. Thank you very much. On the 20th of uh, January 2007, I, I organized a press conference after three months of diplomatic uh, offensive uh, in Europe, uh, America, and even Taiwan to explain to my people what I did within the period. Uh, troops were sent to arrest all of us, brutalize us, and uh, we were arrested and detained. It was thanks to uh, pressure from the international community, including the Transnational uh, Radical Party, that we were finally released after two months of uh, uh, detention under uh, squalid conditions. So now you are uh, again uh, uh, I mean, on the field to fight for your people. Exactly the f first two steps you ask to the international community. Yes, uh, I am here with thanks to the invitation I received uh, from Marco uh, Capato and uh, Marco Panella, who are now friends and supporting us uh, to attend this uh, conference that is holding here, which we are using as an opportunity to enlighten the international community on our plight in southern Cameroon, where our people are living under uh, fear, under torture every day. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. And uh, I will pray that you will use this as an opportunity because we also look up to the government of Italy and the Italian people to assist us so that we should also enjoy freedom as they are enjoying. Thank you very much. I hope that we we'll meet in future for more such discussions. Thank you. God bless.